Good morning, it's Wednesday the 14th of July. I don't know whether you're looking forward to the Olympics starting in, um, well, not very long now, just over a week. I absolutely love watching the Olympics. I remember when Oliver was very little, in fact, I think it was the year he was born, waking up and um, sitting with him early in the morning, watching what had happened in the Olympics the night before, somewhere on the other side of the world. I think my favourite things to watch are the gymnastics. I'm always mesmerised that people can do that and swirl around and get their bodies in those kind of positions. And I really enjoy the swimming too. And even though um, some of the things that they do are for individuals and others are team sports, ultimately people are really just trying to get medals for their country, aren't they? For their team um, so for us, Team GB. There's a passage in Ecclesiastes that I've been looking at quite a bit over the past weeks. And it's a couple of verses that really link with the Olympics, I think. So I'm just going to read you those. It's from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, and it's verse 9, and then the beginning of verse 10. Two are better off than one because together they can work more effectively. If one of them falls down, the other can help him up. I don't know if you can remember the 2016 Olympics in Rio, but actually in one of the heats for the women's 5,000 metres, there was um, a bit of a scuffle and a few people kind of stumbled and two of the runners fell. And actually, they did just what that verse says. Two were better than one. They helped each other up. They encouraged each other. They were on different teams completely, different countries. One of them was more seriously injured than the other. But both of them actually finished the race. I think the lady who came last was actually lapped. She was so far behind. And the officials of the Olympics actually awarded both women a place in the finals if they were well enough to run. And sadly, they weren't. But I think those ladies, and perhaps the Olympics as a whole, really um, epitomise those verses from Ecclesiastes. And thinking about our Christian journey, I think about those verses too. Quite often in churches, when we work together with other people, we're more effective. We get things done. We share the load. We have ideas that bounce off each other. And of course, the first half of verse 10 that talks about when one of us falls down, there's someone else there to pick us up. That's really what being a Christian should be like. If we're part of God's team, then that's what we should be doing for each other. When one of us is sad or unsure or has made a mistake or has doubts, then the other person should be there to give them a hand up and to say, come on, let's keep going. Let's finish this race. So just a few thoughts for you to think about today and over the coming weeks as you're watching the Olympics on the telly. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for people who help us up, who encourage us to keep going, who lend us a hand when times are tough. And we pray that we might be those kinds of people who work together with others to be more effective and who offer a helping hand to those around them in need. And Lord, we thank you that you are always alongside us in our race, in our journey. Amen. <laughs>